Hey guys, Tic Tac here with a strategy guide that hasn't been covered yet and I'm sure everyone is excited for it. But it's an AL strategy, keep that in mind. So absolutely not usable in boss rushes or full game runs unless you're Riku or someone. But yeah, this is basically the strategy where you jump stab the legs and I will explain how to do that. One thing beforehand, uh, for it to work at all, Kuro has to have the fastest uh, climbing animation. And that's why it's actually not quite usable in Boss Rush, because you can't quite know if Kuro does the fastest animation or not. And if it's not the fastest animation, you lose time anyway. Uh, but yeah. I'm using Hammer's NTA run and my HTA run to explain the details. There's always stuff here that you can do better since it's an Ayao and especially with Hammer's run, it's absolutely insane. But the basic strategy where you do the jump step, uh, you can get to work for like a sub 35 time at least pretty decently. So yeah, first things first, once you load in, you whistle instantly and run to the window you kind of position on the left hand side of it and you jump out about five seconds 5.5 hammer does 5.5 because kuro is in a perfect position um if you do it like that so you roll out and then you grab the ledge for a little bit so wander doesn't like fall out too much you can barely see it here but grabbing the ledge is something that I didn't realize at first actually has to happen. As you saw, Wander kind of turned around, so Hammer here at 5.5 rolls out, grabs, let's go. And then there's this window that you try to grab on. Since Hammer jumped out at a perfect time, Kuro on NTA is set up perfectly for the jump steps since his foot is right under the window. So what you do here is you grab, you jump step, you fall down to the second one and jump step again. Whatever happens after that with the third jump step on the sigil doesn't have to interest you, that's probably trial and error. And if I don't even quite understand it, you basically have to get some kind of uh, animation where you can instantly jump step the sigil as well. But for that, grab, jump step, and if you do it right due to the shake, Wander actually gets shaken out of the jump step. Sometimes you don't shake out, that's also not a problem, you just wait it out and then drop down. You drop down on the left and you can jump step during the fall. And if you're already here on NTA, you already have a way faster time than you could imagine with a normal run. What Hammer does additionally here, he's kind of walking on air and jump steps again and cancels that due to Kuro just falling. That's an advanced strategy, you don't have to do this. Uh, but yeah, one other thing that is actually quite notable here, before I move on to HTA, you can actually do less stabs here. Hammer does one full and 2.6-ish stabs, I think. One full, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, or 0.5 even. And the reason for that is due to the extra damage you did on the legs, you can actually like reduce the amount of damage you do to the first sigil, and then of course the jump step to finish, since he already did the jump step earlier. I hope that is helpful. Basically, the things you need to know to be able to even try to do this is the timing of 5.5 .5 on NTA, to know that you need the fastest animation. The rollout, grab, let go, grab again, and then the two jump steps. So that's the theory behind it. It takes a lot of practice to do well, but for IELTS, especially if you try it out for the first time, it's very cool. But now to HTA, the one that is actually a little bit more crazy. So on HTA, as you can imagine, you don't have as much time to do all the steps. So even with the jump steps, you have to wait a little longer. And But there is an easy timing to do it, and you can actually see it. 
So again, as soon as you load in your whistle, run to the window, and what I do is turn around and look at the surrounding one, two, three. Did you catch that? Basically, uh, the timing is at about nine seconds, but you can know if you have the animation or not. So I don't even look at the timer, which you can't see anyway, uh, due to the thing. But um, basically, due to the animation that Kuro does, as he, he gets closer, you see the wall around you shaking. So right after three shakes, you can do the roll. One, two, three, you roll out. And insta jump step and the lag will be here. And here I took a little longer, but you can actually do both jump steps instantly. The rest, uh, well, you can land on Kuro, but that's advanced stuff. I basically get up here and the cycle steps are important, the six I do here. Here you do all six because it's faster to do these kinds of steps and you need more anyway. And the other important thing is to transition and basically do another cycle step. You want Wander to instantly charge. On HTA, it won't work most of the time. It's a, a very tight timing. So even here, as you see me do this, um, let's move forward a little. I do the last step literally as Kuro is turning around. That's how close it is. But there is a way to improve this, because this is nowhere near a good time and JK even did a few things to improve on it. So I'll pause a little bit for a little bit again. Okay, now about the lag strategy so that you can do that actually I didn't manage to do so far, but it's important to know about. Here, same situation, it's a bit later because um, I assume it's a slower climb. You can still do the strategy with freeze shakes. Roll out. Jump step, jump step again, and if you notice, as Kuro is falling, the sigil is kind of revealed. JK didn't quite do it here, but you will probably understand the idea. Jump step, jump step, and now, yeah, you can jump step there, and a thing that JK actually didn't do that is possible, you can actually try and grab the side of Kuro, and if you're lucky, you will be on the sigil, which basically will be the strategy Riku did for his world record. And that way you can get sub-50 Kuros even. It's crazy. And yeah, that's about what Kuro is all about. Feel free to try it out. It's not easy at first, but uh, you can definitely get an IL if you so choose that way. So hopefully this was interesting enough, and good luck with your runs.